Dear students, welcome to Mathematics Online class. In the exercise 7.10, we are solving problems. Now, 8th one. It is given, this is integration of a raise to 2x into, a raise to 2x into 1 by x minus 1 by 2x square into dx from 1 to 2. See, just by looking into the problem, we can say that this problem is of the type integration of e raise to x into f of x plus f dash of x. For that, but directly it is not given like that. So, what you do? Let me substitute here e raise to x should be there, but in place of e raise to x, what is there? 2x is there. So, what you do? Let me substitute that only. t is equal to 2x I am substituting. Then differentiating the function with respect to t, sorry, with respect to x, we have dt by dx is equal to 2. Here only dx is there, take this 2 to the left hand side, 1 by 2 into dt is equal to dx. Okay. Then what happens to this and what happens to this x square? t is equal to 2x, so x is equal to t by 2. Then again, this x square x is equal to t by 2 x square is equal to t square by 4 like that we will substitute in this e raise to 2x 2x means t dx means 1 by 2 into dt we will substitute fine and what about the upper limits and lower limits when x is equal to 1 t is equal to 2 into 1 that is 2 next upper limit when x is equal to 2 t is equal to 2 into 2 that is we have this is integral alpha e raise to 2x means it is e raise to t into 1 by x is t by 2 this is t by 2 minus of 1 by 2 into x is t by 2 so x square is a t square by 2 sorry t square by 4 t by 2 whole square t square by 4 this is t square by 4 into dx means 1 by 2 into dt that 1 by 2 I will write outside into dt. Now upper limits and lower limits 1 to 2 here it become 2 to 4. Now 1 by 2 into integral of e raise to t into this and you see 1 by t by 2 is nothing but 2 by t. 2 1 za, 2 2 za, minus of 1 by t square by 2 can be written as 2 by t square into dt by half is there 1 by 2 as it is from these two terms what is common there 2 is common 2 times e raise to t into 1 by t minus 1 by t square that 2 can be written outside e raise to t into 2 by t sorry 2 is already outside you know 1 by t minus 1 by t square into dt 2 to get cancels we have this is e raise to t into 1 by t minus 1 by t square into dt. Is it in the standard form or not? Yes, it is in the standard form because here f of x, see uh, it is in the form e raise to x minus of sorry e raise to x into f of x plus f dash of x. In place of x variable t is there, f of t is 1 by t and what about the f dash of t, f dash of t, if you differentiate it, it become minus 1 by t square, yes, using, using, here I have to write, sorry, this uh, upper limits and lower limits I am missing, this should be written properly every time, using integration of e raise to x into f of x plus f dash of x with respect to x is equal to e raise to x into f of x plus c. In the same way, here it is in the standard form, we use this as e raise to t into f of t means it is 1 by t from 2 to 4. Okay. t equal to we will substitute upper limit and lower limit e raise to 4 by 4 minus e raise to 2 by 2. Okay. What is common here? common is e raise to 2 by 
टू इज कामन हिर वी लव टू वेद इर इज टू टू बै टू मैनस् वन बै वन दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एस इ स्क्वेर इंटू इ स्क्वेर मैनस टू डिवेड बै टू इंटू टू फोर दिस इज दि आंसर फोर प्रॉब्लम नंबर एट Yes. Now, in the exercise seven point ten, multiple choice questions. Choose the correct answer. Choose the correct answer. Problem number nine. The value of the integral. The value of the integral. Integration of x minus x cube to the power of 1 by 3 divided by x raised to 4 into dx from 1 by 3 to 1 from 1 by 3 to 1 is is option a 6 option b 0 option c 3 option d 4 yes we are going to integrate this problem problem is integration of x minus x cube to the power of 1 by 3 whole divided by x raised to 4 into dx integrating from 1 by 3 to 1 see this x minus x cube is there you know here 1 by 3 in the sense it is cube root from these two terms i will try to take x cube common this become integration of x cube i am taking common multiplied with the here only x is there x cube we are taking in the sense 1 by x square will be there minus 1 whole to the power of 1 by 3 whole divided by x raised to 4 as it is 1 by 3 to 1 into dx next you see it is like a into b whole raised to n can be written as a raised to n into b raised to n so integral of This first function will be x cube whole raised to one by three into one by x square minus one whole raised to one by three. That will be as this divided by x raised to four into dx from one by three to one. Here you see cube and cube root get cancels out. We have integral of x into one by x square minus one to the power of one by three whole divided by x raised to four into dx. Four times x is there, single time x is there, so you cancel the x one time. That become integral of one by x square minus one to the power of one by three by x cube into dx from one by three to one. Now you can see differentiation of this inside gives us one by x cube. Okay, here you substitute. t is equal to one by x square minus one. This is dt by dx is equal to minus one. That will be zero. You don't worry. One by x square differentiation. You can go with u by v rule also. This become x square into zero minus one into two x divided by x square whole square x raised to four. Sorry, x square whole square. This is minus two by x raised to four. One time x again cancels out. Minus 2 by x cube it is. What is this? Dt by dx is equal. To. But here we have 1 by x cube into dx. 1 by x cube into dx. Minus 2 you take to the left hand side. Minus 1 by 2 into dt is equal to 1 by x cube into dx. Okay. What happens to the upper limits and lower limits? When x is equal to 1 by 3, t is equal to 1 by 1 by 3 whole square minus 1. This is three square minus one, nine minus one, eight. Next, when x is equal to one, t is equal to one by one square. One by one na minus one. One minus one na it is zero. Okay. Now our problem is integral of one by x square minus one. I am substituting it as t. T is to one by three divided by one by x cube 
into dx is nothing but minus 1 by 2 into dt minus 1 by 2 I will write outside no need of this into dt and integrating is from 1 by 3 to 1 become 8 to 0 we can integrate it now this is equal to minus 1 by 2 outside let it be as it is t raised to 1 by 3 integration t raised to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 1 by 3 plus 1 from 8 to 0 this is minus 1 by 2 times now t raised to 1 by 3 plus 1 is 4 by 3 by 4 by 3 8 to 0 minus 1 by 2 into substituting the upper limit that is 0 minus of 8 to the power of 4 by 3 by 4 by 3 it is minus 1 by 2 into minus of 8 to the power of 4 by 3 8 can be written as 2 raised to 3 2 raised to 3 whole raised to 4 by 3 divided by 4 by 3 this 3 3 get cancels out minus 1 by 2 into minus of by 4 by 3 here 2 raised to 4 is there by 4 by 3 is nothing but into 3 by 4 minus minus plus 2 raised to 4 16 into 3 divided by uh, 2 into 4 8 8 ones are 8 twos are 2 into 3 is 6 so option a correct here Now going to the last problem that is question number 10. If f of x is equal to integration of t into sin t, integration of t into sin t into dt from 0 to x, then f dash of x is equal to then f dash of x is option a cos x plus x into sin x option b x into sin x option c x into cos x option d sin x plus x into cos x ok f of x is equal to here it is integration of t into sin t into dt from 0 to x then they are asking you what is f dash of x f dash of x means it is a differentiation first of all let me find out the function here this function t into sin t how will you integrate we will integrate by parts rule according to the i lead rule uh, which one should come first algebraic should come first t is algebraic function trigonometric function sin t will be the second function we have first function as it is integration of sin t with respect to t from 0 to x minus of big integral from 0 to x differentiation of first function here t with respect to t is there we have to be careful differentiation and integration everything will be with respect to the t only into integration of sin t into dt whole integral is with respect to t this is what this is f of x is equal to f of x is equal to here t into what is integration of sin t integration of sin t is a minus cos t i will write here minus t into cos t from 0 to x minus of big integral 0 to x you write as it is differentiation of t with respect to t is 1 integration of sin t with respect to t is integration of sin t is minus cos t minus minus plus this is cos t into dt now we have f of x is equal to substituting the upper limit minus x into cos x minus of minus of now it is 0 0 plus of integration of cos t is sin t integration of cos t is sin t from 0 to x f of x is equal to minus x into cos x plus of here it is sin x 
minus of sin 0, sin 0 is 0. We have f of x is equal to minus x into cos x plus sin x. They asked you to find out f dash means we need to differentiate the function. Differentiating the function with respect to x, we have f dash of x is equal to minus as it is, how will you differentiate product of two functions it is u v rule, u as it is differentiation of v plus v as it is differentiation of u like that. x as it is differentiation of cos x is minus sin x plus of cos x as it is differentiation of x is 1. This minus outside minus will multiply to both the term plus differentiation of sin x is cos x. We have f dash of x is equal to minus of minus x into sin x plus cos x here outside plus cos x. Minus will get multiplied with these two minus into minus plus x into sin x minus cos x plus cos x. These two get cancelled. So, we have f dash of x is equal to x into sin x. Option B correct. Yes, with this exercise 7.10 completed. Now we will move on to the next heading. Some properties of definite integrals. Some properties of some properties of definite integrals. Okay. Some properties of definite integrals here total eight properties are there. I told you in the beginning of integral chapter, one 6 mark question will be there from the integral chapter. That 6 mark question will be from the property what we are going to study under the heading. That property derivation will be there. Property derivation 5 marks plus one, uh, one mark question on that property total 6 mark question. In the question paper pattern, part E will be having two 10 mark questions, any one you need to answer among them. In that, one question will be from the integral chapter that will be from the properties. Okay. Here, total 8 properties are there. They have named the properties as a P0, P1, P2, P3 up to P7. In that, P0 property, what it says? P0 property says, integration of f of x with respect to x from a to b is equal to integration of f of t with respect to t from a to b again. Means what? Means uh, the variable can be changed. Variable here you see x is that variable x integrating with respect to x. This variable x is changed to t in the same way you can change it to the any new variable that is if you want to take it in the u you can take it as f of u into du from a to b like this we can take any variable suppose it is there in the whole problem is there in the x directly it can be taken to the new variable that is any variable t u whatever y whatever you want you can take it no problem this this is about a p naught property but a proof of all these properties is very much important so let us prove this how this is true? Okay, you see, I will take LHS. LHS is integration of f of x with respect to x from a to b. This is what our LHS is. I have to get the RHS. See, in place of x, what I need? I need a t here. So, what you do? Let us substitute t is equal to x. Let us substitute t is equal to x. Then differentiate the function with respect to x differentiating the function with respect to x this is dt by dx is equal to 1 what i have i have dt is equal to 
dx. Next, what I told you? I told you to change the upper limit and lower limit for the new variable. When x is equal to a, that is lower limit, what happens to the t? t x is a in the sense that t is also a only. When x is equal to a, t is equal to a. And then, what about when x is equal to b, t value? t value again it is b only x is equal to a t equal to a x is equal to b t is equal to a. very easy then coming to the lhs integral of f of x means t f of t dx means dt and then integral when x is equal to a t is a only lower limit a only when x is equal to b t is b only upper limit is also b only see this is nothing but rhs so, we have proved here, we have proved integration of f of x with respect to x from a to b is equal to integration of f of t into dt from a to b. Here f of t f of x means this can be any function like sin x or cos x or whatever it can be, variable can be changed directly, this is p naught property. Sir, this mark is it for the this one is it for the 5 mark? No, it will not be given for the 5 mark. Uh, remaining properties are there. This is P naught property. Next, I will take P1 property, property named as a P1. Property named as P1 is a Integration of f of x with respect to x from a to b is equal to minus of integration of f of x from a to b, b to a, sorry, from b to a. You have to be careful here. What is the change from LHS to RHS? From LHS to RHS, the only change is that they have interchanged the upper limits and the lower limits. If you interchange upper limit and lower limit, then what happens? Then sign of the integral itself, value of the integral itself get changes. This whole term while interchanging upper limits and lower limits, the whole term has got multiplied with a minus that is the changes here. Okay. How will you prove this? Property P1 prove we are going to prove take LHS. LHS is integration of f of x with respect to x from a to b. Okay. Next, uh, here let me take this f of x is any, any uh, one function will be there, it is a function we are going to integrate it. Here f of x means which function we do not know, let me take integration of small f of x with respect to x is capital F of x plus c. Integration of small f of x with respect to x is capital F of x plus c I am taking. Now, this will become f of x from a to b as it is definite integral i am not writing c even if you write c that will be zero only no changes at all now what happens here this is f of b substituting the upper limit minus of f of a we will substitute the lower limit this is what this is integration of f of x where integral of or nt derivative of small f is capital f we are written like this and substituting the upper limit and lower limits you will get it as a f of b capital f of b minus capital f of a so here i will take minus common if minus is common then this will be f of a minus f of b f of a minus f of b minus it is outside just if you look into the value inside the bracket what it is it is f of a minus f of b f of a minus f of b means here this a is like upper limit, b is lower limit. With that, I can write minus is outside, a is upper limit, okay, a and uh, b is lower limit. Derivative of f is a small f, this is small f of x into dx. With that, we can write this is nothing but what? This is nothing but uh, RHS, okay. Thus, we have proved. Integration of f of x with respect to x from a to b is equal to minus of integration of f of x with respect to x from b to a. Just to remember, just to remember, 
if we interchange upper limit and lower limits of an definite integral value of the integral get changes by sign okay in in particular i can say one thing here in particular in particular suppose upper limits and lower limits both are same what happens integration of small f of x with respect to x from a to a from a to a in the sense we are not finding the any area this will be zero only or else suppose integration of small f of x is capital f of x is there we are upper limit and lower limit both are same a to a what is this this is f of a minus f of a f of a minus f of a is zero you can remember if upper limits and lower limits both are same then its integral is a zero this is about a, a property p1 property p1 now let me go with the property p2 property p2 is important one it says property p2 integration of f of x with respect to x from a to b is equal to see i told you while starting the definite integrals instead of integrating directly from a to b we can take to the another one line we can take to the another one line and then from second that line to last point means here you take a to c we will integrate first a to c f of x into dx plus c to b c to b last in, last last limit uh, upper limit that is f of x into dx like this we can take uh, can it be taken only once no it can be taken many times like uh, suppose it is given like integrating from 1 to 5 integrating from 1 to 5 f of x into dx is given instead of directly integrating from 1 to 5 we can take it like 1 to 2 1 2 f of x into dx next integral should begin with 2 only next int integral la lower limit should be 2 only 2 to if you want to take it to the 4 you can take it 4 f of x into dx next from 4 to 5 f of x into dx like that it should be integrated up to 5 and this should be uh, followed that is upper limit of first integral should be equal to lower limit of next integral we are taking in the same way here also it has happened okay right, let me erase this now we are going to prove this how is this correct see let us take rhs here rhs is equal to integration of f of x with respect to x from a to b plus integration of f of x with respect to x from c to b small f of x we are integrating with respect to x now here any this f means it is any function let me take its integral as let integration of f of x with respect to x is capital f of x plus c we are taking okay then both the cases it is same only rhs integration of small f of x is capital f of x capital f of x from a to b plus here small f of x integral is capital f of x from a to b okay i have now we will substitute the upper limit here this is f of b minus of substituting the lower limit that is f of a plus of next coming to this we will substitute the upper limit first that become sorry it is not a to b rhs is integrating from a to c here sorry integrating from a to c and here it is c to b this become a to c and here it is c to b then here it is f of c here f of a fine and this one is f of b minus of substituting the lower limit f of c what happens you see this is f of c minus f of a plus f of b minus f of c plus f of c minus f of c get cancel 
we have minus f of a plus f of b this is nothing but plus f of b minus f of a what is this plus f of b minus f of a this is nothing but integration of small f of x with respect to x from a to b where upper limit is b lower limit is a see this is lhs okay thus we have proved integrating from a to b f of x into dx is equal to integration from a to c f of x into dx plus integrating from c to b f of x into dx this is about a property p2 remaining property means property p3 onwards we will take in the next class thank you